Ciao, buongiorno, and a happy Easter weekend to all of you. David and I would love to show you around a little bit more of the village this, this episode. So we're going to be showing you some spectacular views of the surrounding countryside, some lovely things to see and do within the village, and we really hope you enjoy it. We just can't wait to be there ourselves. So David, we've just arrived in Kiani and we've popped our suitcases down. We've looked around the house, of course, but settled what's the in. first thing? Exactly, mm -hmm. kind of settled, it'll take a while. Yeah. But what's the first thing? Actually, give me the top three things that you want to do when we first go for a walk around Kiani. Number one. Number one, it's got to be find the local cafe, meet the locals, have a beautiful coffee and maybe a uh, cornetto mm. or something. Mm. I can see the diet no. going out the window. Awesome, <laughs> I'll be there with you. Number two. Number two would be to visit the, the local shops like the butcher and the baker. Just see oh, what, yes. what's there and what's nearby. Get to know, you know, the people who run them. You know, it's all about that community spirit. And I guess number three would be um, Walking around the town, but going up to where the church is with the square in front of it. Awesome. That will be my three things just to do on that first day we get there. Well, I'll be joining you on all three, of course, and my number one was actually going to be the church on the square. Now, when you call it a square, one thing David didn't mention was the square is a triangle, which totally mesmerizes me that this square is a triangle in shape. <laughs> so I can't wait to go and see that. And it's where they hold the wonderful opera, Kiani Opera Festival, every December, just before Christmas. So that's really one of my first things I'd like to do as well. Now, my number two is something that I've never seen on the internet, but my real estate agent, Elisa, kindly told me that there is a very recently built, beautiful lookout spot in the um, village that they've built, I think in the last 12 months. And it looks like it has spectacular views, but she said in particular at sunset, it's a beautiful place to go and check out the sunsets that go down over the rolling hills around us, those beautiful peas and hills. So that's my number two. And then my number three is also food orientated. And that's because Kiani is famous, evidently, for its beautiful olive oil that they make in the village. And I believe there's a frantoio, um, an olive press there, where you can take your olives, have them pressed, but also you can go and buy the locally made olive oil. Mm -hmm. So I can't wait to get some of that on that first day because that's what I'll be putting in my salads and cooking with. Most definitely. <laughs> so that's my number three. Yeah. Um, you'll be seeing a lot more oh, things to do in the coming one time. More thing. Oh, one, one more thing. thing. Oh, oh yeah, you're greedy. But, well, you know, you know. <laughs> but I don't know what season it is, but the sunflower fields. That's uh, what I'm looking forward to see. That's true. That's just village. outside of the village, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so. Yeah. We, we don't know if that's a walk away. I think it probably is a walk away or a very, very speedy car trip, probably a two minute car trip. <laughs> okay, well, we'll be seeing you around. More of Kiani very soon. See ya. Ciao. Bye.